Right at the end of the last one, the game popped up with a, hey, congratulations, you've traveled 10,000 kilometers, miles, feet, inches, something, and we ended up getting a level up by way of the experience. Unlocks animal treats recipes. Uh, animal friendliness makes animals less afraid of you. That's interesting. Or we can get experience from fishing and fishing speed. Mm, I like animal friend. I mean, I guess that just means it'll make it easier to murder more animals. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what does that take to make them? Scrap fabrics and plant matter. Hmm. Okay. Um, sure. I guess. Why not? Whatever. I don't know. Contains delicious treats for animals. Uses are replenished at the campfire. Friendliness plus 10. Drop on the ground. Manual aiming. Okay. And diggy diggy hole. Oh no, this is a hoe, not a hole diggy. Uh, used to shape soil before planting seeds. Well, that seems like that would be useful if we're trying to do some seed planting. So sure, we'll blow through all of our ceramics to make a garden hoe to go with the shovel that we have never ever used that maybe one of these days we will. And we got a storage box upgrade. Oh, we need mana beads. Okay, hold on. Enables taking materials out of the camp storage box and placing them back into your carry material slots. Removing materials costs additional XP. Press F near storage box to open the menu. That's probably how you use the wishing well back by one of the farm places or things that we were at before. Well, we don't have any mana beads, so that's just not going to happen. And then uh, this one, invent and craft one of the items connected to this node. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and do this. We'll do the flashlight so we can see what we need for this thing, the light link tower toolkit. Toolkit that enables installing transmitters to link towers. Transmitters have various effects such as stopping monsters from respawning and enables getting mana beads. Okay. We've got iron and all the things. So, sure. Presumably, uh, there's a way to do these, to use these things. Oh, look at that. Sweatbands, energetic looking pair of sportswear. Running speed plus 10%. That's all I need to hear. I'm in. Okay. Wow, that was a... That was a heck of a level. We can still do one more thing. What can we do? We can't do the sickle just yet, so... Oh, painkillers. How about that? We don't have enough mushrooms, but we do have enough plastics. Quick relief for minor pain and soreness uses are replenished at the campfire. We just need to find some... I don't know. The uh, mushrooms, I guess. So, what in the world am I looking for with the inventory here? Can we... So the animal thing is on number one. Where in the world is the garden hoe? Can we choose what we want? Okay, so we have to choose from these guys. So if we wanted to plant seeds, then if we wanted to till soil, just for curiosity's sake, can we change these at any time? I'm not entirely sure if we can. This is not good soil for plants. Look at him, he's like, dude, this is crap soil, you know this. All right, my bad. Um, I guess we need to clear that area then, huh? All right, well, at least I know what I'm sort of missing. So can we change this now? Just out of curiosity? Yes, we can. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily feel a burning need to change it right now, but, I mean, just for curiosity's sake, can we, can we dig right here? Yeah, we sure can. That doesn't seem to accomplish anything, but we can do it. Okay, good to know. I mean, we got the shovel a while ago and just never bothered to use it. So let's go this way today. We're going to start off by running around outside this area and uh, if we can get this guy on a sneak attack, my bad. I needed to target him first or at least wait a second for the uh, target lock to, to be active, but whatever, it's fine. So this doghouse we cannot interact with, but we can break it down. That's interesting. And I wanted to break this box down just so we can open that door now. That's good stuff right there. How you doing? So close to that being only two hits, even when they're expecting it. So close. We'll go ahead and take down these guys. We'll take the lockers down just because we blew through all of our iron last time. Oh! Oh! We can do these little uh, beds that look like there's something straight out of Fallout. It's cool. Kind of old-fashioned bed there. 
And I don't remember if the radiator gave us iron. I want to say maybe it did. And there we go. There's some iron. But this is a good way to get some additional fabric because we kind of blew through all of our fabric here. And we're still trying to get to the point where we can upgrade the backpack. So this is taking a minute. And I keep, every time we keep getting close, I keep spending all the materials. So I, mean, I guess it's okay, but uh, overall, it's not a very good plan if we want to upgrade things. My bad, open the door. Then at some point, we got to not spend the materials so that we can, you know, spend the materials. Can we break the weight set? Interesting, we can break the part of the weight set, but not all of it. So we can break that down. That'll give us some scrap metal. It's not necessarily super helpful, but it is what it is. I guess probably shouldn't destroy the jungle. The jungle gym. I know it's not a jungle gym, but it's a jungle gym. If you've ever played Dead by Daylight, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Just put all that stuff away, and then we can go through here now, which is nice. And we'll just run around and collect all this random crap right quick since we're right here. It's not that big a deal, right? We need the fabric anyway, so we may as well. I kind of want to go back to that farm that we've been at now just because I, I want to see, you know, can we can we do some, some farming and stuff over there? Oh, you're a big boy. Ah, don't hit me. Nope, don't do it. Okay. Took a little damage there, but we're all right. I mean, if we had some tomatoes, I guess we could make some soup. Some soup. But uh, we don't really have tomatoes right now, so it's fine. We still need oodles and oodles of ceramic, which... Man. Hi. Turn around and hit the throne. Thanks for that. We really need a campfire over here, too. Just something that'd be a little bit closer, but... Alas, that does not appear to be the case. Here, let's get rid of this chair so we can open the door. And we're going to have to run back yet again. And drop off all of our materials. I mean, we need a backpack like 17 times the size of what we have right now. Just so I can go more than 30 seconds without having to stop and drop materials off. That's mildly obnoxious. I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, let's check the truck. All right, let's not. Uh, we should close this door just before that guy sees what's going on and decides to come out and crash the party. All right, truck, Jeep. A couple coffee cups, that's fine. Take them. Don't mind that at all. So I think we've probably hit the extent of this little portion of the map. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, that we basically ran around the perimeter of all of this. And then I don't know if we've been up to this side. I don't think we have. So let's go ahead and we'll go back to the fire and then we'll cross over to the north. Here, let's stop and get some free experience. Free-ish. As we move along, because, eh, you know, why not, right? Can we get these sandbags yet? No. Still can't. Interesting. Okay. So let's go back to the north now. Oh, I guess we should probably stop and get this guy just for the iron. I mean, those are those are pretty decent materials there. Okay, and let's try to get the drop on this guy. There we go. Two shot you, buddy. It's not too bad. I mean, that's a lot better than just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. They are pretty tough, after all. Bonk! Ah, oh, you turned at the last second and saw us. That's... Ain't that a shame. So it looks like to get in there, we probably have to go out over there, which means getting through that reinforced door. So how do we get through here? I mean, it's just unauthorized access forbidden. So maybe in one of those buildings, there's like a code or something that'll unlock and allow us to go out that way. Although, I mean, it does seem like there's no wall right here. So technically we can get out right here. Minor details. Okay, 
I'm going to try not to get stuck on the fence this time around. Oh, hi. You confused me by just standing there like a weirdo. I mean, I guess banks and such. This kind of backtracks to that one place where we saw the weird crate in the, the toxic area. That's kind of interesting. Maximum gas station. Oh, there's probably all sorts of good stuff over here, right? And I would... Oh, gosh, there's a dog. And I'd be willing to bet there's a campfire over there, but there's also a dog, and I want nothing to do with dogs. I think we only needed one more mushroom to be able to make something. Oh, no, we cannot get over there. Okay. I see how you're going. I see how you're going. Well, here, while we are here, because we haven't really uh, run into water so much yet... There's got to be a faster way to trade this stuff out. I just don't know what it is. Okay. So I'm going to guess we got to, like, click again to pull stuff in when it bites. Assuming it bites. I mean, I don't know how long. Hey, look at that. I was going to say, I don't know how long. Ah, oh, crap. I should sit here and try to catch something, but... Let me uh, drop everything off and come right back to the spot. So we'll go and grab the fish, take a sit one more time. An ordinary fish living everywhere. A true survivor. Now I kind of wish I'd taken the fishing upgrade, but uh, it's fine. It is what it is. I was half wondering if there would be a little mini game like I get in Stardew Valley or some other games, but nah, you just got to wait and then yank. And then there you go. There's your fish. I'm totally okay with that. I don't need a mini game for every little thing I do. I'm, I'm fine with this. Like I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I'm also totally fine with it. Not say okay in my book. So this kind of gets us back on the road a little bit here, and then this is going to be where the gas station was, I believe. Right now, mm, I'm not seeing a campfire, but we might not just be in the spot to see it. Uh, this is annoying. really need to change my lock-on button one of these days. Like, what does Q do? Does Q do anything? I have no idea. Okay. Hmm... Great time to cough. Hey, I'm having a hard time with you, so let me just do that. I do wonder, like, when we're going to be able to make a better weapon. Special message for the dear habitants of Capernaum. Your mighty walls will keep the monsters at bay. Sleep tightly. You are safe and loved. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Well, okay. There's a little bit of... Uh, I don't remember what the show is. I didn't watch it, but I heard a little bit about it. Know that you are loved. Bodies? Is that the name of it? It's on uh, Netflix. I know that much. I, said, I didn't watch it, but I heard a little bit about it. I was like, huh, that's kind of a weird thing to say. I mean, it's not, but in the context in the, in the show, it is. Okay, I'm looking for... Oh, hold on. We can get over to this box. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. What is this? Um, this seems dangerous. Oh. When does it reset? That's a good question. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure I understand just yet what I'm supposed to do with that thing, other than I guess I come back at a later time. Nope. I, I do want to leave. Oh, bye, Bambi. I saw Bambi run by. Did you see Bambi run by? I did. Okay, let's grab this plastic bag. I was kind of hoping we were going to find a campfire over here, just so we could drop our stuff, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So, I think what I want to do at this point is head back to the campfire that's 
way back to the uh, whatever that is to the west to the west and i want to go back to that relay tower thingy majigger because we do still have um ah crap I'll, I'll let you go bambi it doesn't matter i'm sorry i didn't mean to hit you oh, we still can't get through that can we get through this no okay well anyway we need to go back to the west so that we can get to the tower so we can make a thing to, I guess, make monsters stop spawning or something like that for the tower. I don't know. Whatever. Me over there. All right. We've made it back to where we started, the very kind of initial town. And then just right over here is where the tower is going to be. So I guess... Probably need to go back to the fire, but I just wanted to see first if there's any additional interaction we can do here. So we have uh, a scanner radar shows statistics such as the monster count for the Link Tower area. We don't have those mana beads and we don't have enough electronics or I'm guessing maybe like electrical components or something. Deadly transmission stops killed monsters from respawning. Each monster permanently killed this way drops one mana bead. Interesting. So that's how we get the mana beads, as we do do the thing to kill them with that. Okay. So then we need some more electronics, which probably means televisions and that sort of junk, at least while we're over in this part of town. So let's just take a look in the houses, because... At various points, we didn't really have what we needed to harvest things, so there's there's going to be uh, definitely some some stuff left over. Like I guess we cannot get the fridge, but yeah, we can get the the counter there. That's fine. But I'm thinking we'll be able to find some electronics by way of maybe by way of televisions and that sort of jazz, because I know we didn't go through all of these homes. At least not after we upgraded things. Like, see, here we go. How you doing? Oh. I was trying to be all cool and be like, I'm going to charge up this power attack and you're going to walk right into it. And I'm going to be like, man, look at that. I totally timed it. And you're going to be like, dude, that was cool. I didn't have to, though. Okay, so that's one. What about this guy? Still cannot get into that one. Okay. And there's no... No television in this house. Bonk. And then what do we have over here? And we still need to figure out how we can open up that area. I have a feeling this game's going to be one of those where you can spend some time playing it. Like, really spend some time. I mean, so long as it's enjoyable, I don't, I don't mind that too much. Like, it's cool. Just as long as it's not, you know, super duper grindy or anything. That's really kind of all I care about. Okay. That was not too bad at all. Just stand and deliver pain. Yeah, we might need to come back here with some more scrap electronics. I just don't think we're going to have what we need out here. I think we've already kind of scooped through most of the houses and then ended up using those scrap electronics by way of the flashlight. So that's okay, though. And we still don't have lockpicks, so that's not going to do us any good. Don't back away. Oh, critical hit. Take that, you, you mean former person type thing. Okay. I feel set pretty satisfied in saying that we don't have what we need in this part of town, so that's fine. I mean, like, this place is already picked clean, so there's really not much we can do about it. Really would appreciate some fast travel, though. Oof, boy. Back at the farmstead, I thought we would just go ahead and see if we can do whatever we're supposed to be doing for... Oh, I see. Got it. For the uh, farming quest. 
mean, it's not exactly the way I envisioned this working, but that's okay. And just like that, we have blown through all the, the plant materials we have. That's kind of funny. Like here, I thought we were just never going to run out of those. And instead, we have run out of those. Like, that's just great. That's hilarious. Well played, game. Well played. You made the requirements of this incredibly obscene. And therefore, you have actually made the sickle sort of useful. Okay, whatever. That's fine. So we made a little area where we can plant some seeds in addition to the few that were already there. And then I guess... Um, we don't have any other seeds other than the carrot seeds, so we'll just go ahead and plant a carrot, and that's the only one we can plant. Okay, well, we have planted a seed. We just need to harvest that lovely little carrot plant at some point. I'm not sure how it immediately turns into a carrot when it's planted, but whatever, minor details, I don't mind. I'm looking for that deer. Where'd it go? That deer might be the last one we need for the backpack upgrade. I totally lost it. Where did it go? All right, well, bummer that, because I hunted a bunch of deer on the way over, and uh, it didn't go too badly per se, but we only got one hide. I was hoping to get more, even though I must have killed, uh, I don't know, four or five of them on the way over here. Let's see if we can run out for just one more moment. And hi, how you doing? Let's get rid of these guys right quick. Nice, good, solid damage. I'm okay with that. There you are. How you doing? I want to kill it. Perfect. There's the hide we needed. So we'll just bash the crap out of those guys. And we've got a bunch of meat, so... Should we ever get a recipe that uses meat? Because I don't... I don't think we have one that uses meat. Here, let's go over here. Got the corn one and the tomato one. Yeah, that's it. Corn cobs and tomatoes. That's all we got. Those carrots are not going to help on the corn cob front, but whatever. Minor details. Go ahead and store our crap there, and then we should be able to use this guy to upgrade our backle tackle. So we're going from nine slots to uh, eight to nine, and space per material slot from seven to eight. And now we need six more hides, and we can upgrade this guy again. Wow. Guess who is going to hunt Bambi? Oh, goodness. It already takes a bunch of attempts to get the hides. Like, it's maybe a 30% at best to get the hides. So, uh, that's a lot of Bambis that need to be slaughtered. I'm guessing it'll be closer to 20 than it is to 18, but whatever. Maybe even 24. Might only be like a 25% chance or something. I don't know. Whatever. At the very least, we got the upgrade. So, between the... Uh, the overall coat, jacket thing, whatever we got, and now the backpack upgrade. We're actually in a pretty decent spot, at least compared to where we start, but I'm still going to be like, man, I wish we had more slots because it's just not enough. We're getting there. We're getting there. And hey, we got a carrot planted, so maybe we'll be able to harvest some, some carrots, or a carrot at least, in, I don't know, a couple game days, I guess? I'm really not sure how that's going to work. Right now, we're going to call this one good. We will pick up on the next one. Catch you that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.